Hello, fluffy friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to read the book, Mr. Men's Sports Day by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Men's Sports Day, written and illustrated by Adam Hargreaves. Have you ever been to Nonsense Land? In Nonsense Land, the grass is blue and the trees are red and all the cars have square wheels. Why? Easy, so they don't roll away when they are parked on a hill. I know, what nonsense! And in Nonsense Land, they hold a sports day every summer. Nothing silly about that, I hear you say. Well, you'll just have to wait and see. This year, the preparations for the sports day started two weeks before the event and it being nonsense land, things happened somewhat differently to how you would have expected. Little Miss Scatterbrain got the sports field ready. Mr. Dizzy marked out the track for the races. That's a very squiggly looking race track. And Mr. Nonsense got the finishing line ready. A very silly looking finishing line. It's not a finishing line. It's a fishing line with a boot on the end. The day of the Nonsense Land Sports Day dawned to a great deal of excitement. All the Mr. Men were there and no one was more excited than Mr. Rush who was at the sports day for the very first time. He couldn't wait for the last event of the day, the 100 meter sprint. But for the first time in his life, he did wait. There were lots of other events to watch first. However, as each one came and went, Mr. Rush became more and more confused. The high jump had become the low jump and was won by Mr. Small. And the long jump was the short jump, won by Little Miss Tiny. Throwing the hammer became throwing the jelly, won by Mr. Strong, whose jelly went a bit further than he intended to splotch. Little Miss Naughty was leading all the way in the sack race, but Mr. Nosy won it by a nose. For the swimming gala, Mr. Silly had filled the swimming pool with custard. Mr. Tickle won by a hand on the end of his extraordinarily long arm. And the egg and spoon race became the raw egg and teaspoon race. Much trickier and a lot messier. Finally, it was time for the 100 meter sprint. Mr. Rush and all the other runners took their places at the starting line. The starting pistol fired. Mr. Rush shot down the track, and before you could say six speedy sausages, he had crossed the finish line. I've won, cried Mr. Rush. Everyone gathered round for the prize presentation. Mr. Rush could not wait to hear the announcement. The king of nonsense land stood up on stage. In third place, he said, is Mr. Silly for the silliest running shoes ever. In second place, he continued, is Little Miss Dottie for the silliest running outfit. And in first place, for by far the silliest 100 meter sprint, is Mr. Slow. But, but Mr. Slow didn't even run. Look! He hasn't finished yet, cried Mr. Rush, who could not believe what he just heard. Exactly, said the king. He walked. What could be sillier than entering a running race than not running? And here he comes now. Poor 
Mr. Rush hadn't realized that the event was called the silliest 100 meter sprint. But that's nonsense, said Mr. Rush. Exactly, said Mr. Slow. Complete nonsense. And he stepped forward to collect his cup. A teacup. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. If you liked this book, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.